We don't make it pretty. We make it pretty stupid. P.I. Videos. Hey, thanks for joining again. Let's play through some more Pillars of Eternity. And this is my guy, Psychologbeam, and he's been completely ab abandoned by everybody. Well, not abandoned. You know, like his team died. So that's it. Mm -hmm. We're in Gilded Veil, and your mission, should you decide to accept, is... Oh, by the way, I installed this... Uh, I shouldn't say installed. I um, did this console command that allows, like, greatly increases your zoom, which is look at this. This is great. This is the thing that I felt really this game really needed to zoom right in. I'll put the console command in um, the video description. All right, Gilded Veil. Vale. Your mission, Psychology Beam, should you decide to accept, is to build a new team and search this whole town. All right, you got lots to do here. Speak with all the residents, take on a whack ton of side missions, and loot the town. Try not to steal anything because we want our reputation to stay pretty good. Let's take a look at our reputation right now. Our reputation is rational, so that's uh, that's good. All right, and there's also some kind of like Colonel Kurtz apocalypse now kind of thing going on here. Let's go there first. Double time now. There we go. Check that out. Uh huh. Has anybody got anything to say about this? You must be one of the new settlers. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. <laughs> okay. Do you welcome everyone this way? The only answer you hear is the buzzing of flies from the tree. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Widewind's legacy, that sounds Have like a Have you ever thing. sired a hollowborn child? Have I ever sired a hollowborn child? Uh, not that I know of. Um, no, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I have not. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, I'm certain. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. Dissidents, charlatans, or those... No, that doesn't apply to me. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Okay. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. Oh. It will have to wait until after the birth. After the birth. We can continue our interview then. After the it, bell oh, is that what this from is? Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. The inn, southwest of here. All right. Note. Inn, southwest. Got it. Southwest would be down that direction. In the meantime, you can find that I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with a Chrysler. I mean, a Buick. Uh, is there someone in town who could help? Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. Animancer, okay. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Why is that? Consider yourself fortunate. He points at the body After she failed from Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. All right, isn't that dandy? You just killed the only person that can help me. And your name is? Okay, you're immediately on my shit list. Uh, what's your name? Magistrate. Shit list. Number one. Magistrate. Okay, taking notes on that. Next. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Well, some nice happy thoughts from the magistrate. Hmm. Next. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gilded Vale understand our rules. You said something about Hollowborn and Wywin's legacy. Are you going to read this out or make us read it out? You're going to make us read it out. Okay. I forget that you you foreigners do not have to, do not have this curse in your homelands. The rest of you can read that up if you so desire. Next. Pause the video if you so desire. 
Uh, pitiful dumb things that breathe. Uh, this looks like more fluff. I typically... Okay, let's just skip. Before I got here, I saw several people conducting a strange... Yeah, what's that? What was that ceremony all about? Tell us about that. You want to mind where you mention that trespassing on Angwithin ruins is illegal. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I just saw it from a distance. You know, I didn't actually go on the ruins, the, you know, themselves. Um, probably someone attempting some new ritual. That's correct. To appease the gods. Oh, I see. People will try anything these days. Barata da 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 da. All right, let's go with this one. I don't think so. Just as they finished, there was a Buick. <laughs> that name cracks me up every day. So that's it. All right, so ta ta. Keep out of. Keep out of what? Did you die? Did he die? Oh, okay. The bell's ringing. Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Uh oh. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill timed. The fuck did I do? Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Jeez, just my luck. Hmm. Um. You care to elaborate on that? You come to us at a time of mourning. The leg legacy has struck at the heart of Gilded Vale. Well, that guy sounded like a bit of a jerk anyway, so... Um, I don't feel all that bad. Uh, that, 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 that our efforts to redeem it, that, 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 that must be redoubled. What do you mean? We already did this. Uh, this is becoming a little too extensive as far as stories. So let's try to reach a rapid conclusion here. How about this one? Does this affect Lori's offer to new settlers? Yeah, that's what we want to know. I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest at the inn. I advise you to get some rest at the inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Fair enough. Addendum out of Visions of Whispers. Seek help for your condition. Da, 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 da. The magistrate advised me to get some rest. Okay, that's priority number one. And we know where the inn is. It's at the southwest. We get some rest. Writing this down. Very good. Done and done. Which one is the magistrate, anyways? Archer. Sellsword. Oh, Sellsword. This guy, was that him? Are you the magistrate? Anyways, I'll have to watch the video back to see what the magistrate's name was. Alright, let's take a look around here. <clears throat> Pardon me. That looks like some stuff right there. Go grab that, Psychola Bean. Yum, yum, yum. Look around for There's some more stuff right there. Go grab that. Yeah, that's right. Take the long way home. Double time. Hurry it up here. Very right, good. Looking around for more stuff here, boss. What's your name? Hey, Were there. You looking for someone in that tree? Yeah. I could introduce you. How about the Animancer? Can you bring her back to life? The, 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 the my condolences. He exhale, exhales into a gang rain. Anything more around here? I have discovered the Temple of Eo. Let's just uh, see this here. The party gained 682 experience. Oh, for completing the Gilded Veil, I see, all right. Did I level up? No. Good enough, carry on. Is everything highlighted to show? No, it, no, it isn't, okay. A child. Speak, child. This temple used to be closed up. I used to climb on the big stones. That, we're not going in there yet. That sounds like a heap of trouble. Alright, let's just take a quick run around town and see if we can get some more goodies.
goodies. Oh, wait. There's some over there. This villager is... All right. Okay, I thought he was gonna like whack me or something. Something to do here. There's some goodies. All right, we're going there. Where's the extent of where we can go in the northeast corner? That's that's it. Okay. Alright, it tells me I want stuff. Where's that stuff? Let's do a quick save here just in case I end up like blowing myself up or stealing something by mistake or what else have we got here? We'll go in all the houses later. Right now I'm on a loot tour. Do this systematically, do the whole north side of the town. Then okay, we'll go in there later. What's this? Gold Rot 2. Minus 80 fatigue for 10 minutes. That sounds pretty good. Here we go. Springberry, I know that. Is it getting dark? There's like a day night cycle in here. Oh wait, we didn't go there. Go there, say call of me. Come on, hurry up. Double time. Let's go. Chop, chop. More springberry. Those look like... Oh, we already got that, all right? Things are bound to get worse now, young, yeah, on account of Lord Redrick and what? What do we have here? So this has got to be the inn. They they said it was in the southwest part of town. A lot. I know I can hire him if we. Well, let's just see what happens here. A lot. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. They raise their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. That's just dandy. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? Oh. My treat. All right. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Mm, may I ask what's going on? Angry Townsman, one of the other men, points at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused, mocking us even while we... Mocking us even while he shelters in our village just goes to show what though these fancy dear manners are worth. Go on, say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fine, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't speak your language a lot, but I know an insult when I hear one. Do you really think you should be saying things like that? I'll cut that barrel looking yeah, tongue out of your it. head. Told you. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. I think he said something about uh, getting it on with his sister. I don't know. I mean, like, uh. That's where you're wrong. Okay, so this is up to me now. Huh. I should have saved the game before I did this. All right, let's just jump right in. I don't think attacking is such a good idea. Let's start with that. Wow, I can do all of these. He's reaching for something, and since it's not a rapier at its size, it's either a wand or a throwing dagger. You don't look ready to deal with either. Or, might, because then you'll have to have me to deal with. And this is three drunks. 
Does that mean they're all gonna attack me? Jeez, I should have saved the game. If someone's baiting you. Well, okay, let's go for the safest option. Let's throw it right back on a deer. Or what's his name? A lot. They look at each other. One of the men gives the other two a warning shake of his head before turning to you. We're done for now, but this is one. This one better watch his step here. Oh, we diffused it. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. You there. Since I saved your ass, join me. Not quite how I hoped to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. You're welcome. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. He straightens his hood. You note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. So he's been in a lot of combat, all right. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvisor, at your service. Corvisor, all right. Psychologian. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a wizard by training. That's nice. And an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. That's nice. And how exactly did you come to be here? Well, I was traveling with a caravan, and we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Mm-hmm. Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? A Buick? Or was it a Chrysler? Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop this last time. We'll do that joke. And you survived? Yep. I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. And what are you doing in Gilded Vale? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story <laughs> here. about the local lord's expected wife. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> but I take it that's a familiar tale. Yeah, it sounds like a bunch of a, a big load of bullcrap. So, uh, the, like you said, I'm also a settler. I've been experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Is Indeed. That good? The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Well, that's, that's nice. How did you manage to cross those three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. But it did sound like you told that one man to go fuck his sister. Personally, like, you know, if we put it to a lot of other people, I think they'd think the same thing. Uh-huh, as I tried to tell them, they misheard me. <laughs> A <laughs> likely story. Nice backpedaling there a lot. Alright. Yes, he should. Speak more clearly next time. Alright, you don't look exactly like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. Okay, enough of the chit-chat. Are you going to join Team Slack or not? As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. Tired. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Done and done. Excellent. Welcome to Team Slack. I shall follow you. Great. All right, so we got two party members now. Please subscribe now before you watch another video and change your mind. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic, Pee-wee. Shut up, bitch.